Hi! Happy Wednesday! I'm so happy that everyone is here. Okay, today we have a 30 minute workout, full body, full strength. Not a single muscle of your body is going to get left out. We're going to work everything. Bring a little bandana or a small towel or a strap or something because we'll be using this for a couple of our exercises. All right, let's get started. Everybody rise up. Put that little towel or strap to the side for now. And let's plant our feet in the ground, hip width apart. Make sure your entire toes are spread on the ground. Your heels are into the ground and come on and flex those muscles in your legs. Tuck that tailbone under, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those lower abdominals. Inhale, the arms up, exhale, down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, up, reach to the sky. Pull the energy down, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Close your eyes one moment here. Full scan, head to toe, body and mind. How are you feeling? What do you want to get out of the next 30 minutes of this class together? Leave everything on the sidelines. Right now it's just about you and all those muscles in your body. Let's get the party started. All right, let's go. Come on and jog on the spot. We have a four minute dynamic warm up today. We're gonna to be changing moves every 30 seconds. After this, we're gonna move into a little bit of core and arms, and then we'll take it back to our legs. We'll then take it down to the mat to work on some shoulders and some arms, and continue with some glutes and abs. Like I said, nothing is gonna to go to waste. Come on and drop down into some nice deep squats and reach up to the sky. Open those hips out, tap the ground, reach up. You got it. Nice job. Make it dynamic. Make sure you squeeze the glutes every time you reach up to the sky. Five more seconds here. We're going to take it into some high knees. Three. Two, one, let's go. High knees. Three, swing those arms back and forth. Drive those knees as high as you can go. You've got it. Looking good. Five more seconds. We're going to take it back down to those squats. Three, two, one, and squat down. Up, down, up. You got it. And breathe. 15 down, 15 to go here. We'll then go into some butt kicks. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Butt kicks. See if you can tap your hands. There we go. Lift the chest up, shoulders down and back. Squeeze those glutes. Control the jiggle. Nice work. 15 down, 15 to go. We're going to go into some alternate reverse lunges. Five, four, three, two, one. We're here. Reverse lunge, alternating side. You got it. Looking good. Bring the arms up. Getting a nice little warm up in the shoulders here. We'll take it into some jumping jacks after this. Nice. Five more seconds here. And let's go. Jumping jacks. If you can't do jumping jacks, just do the step out, step in and touch, okay? You got it. In 10 seconds, 
We're going to go into a squat with a hip abduction to the lateral leg lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me show you. Squat down, lift the leg. Down, lift the other leg. You got it. Squat and lift. And what I want you to focus on is squeezing the side of those glutes when you're lifting. So it's not a kick, it's really sending the strength from the heel all along the side of that leg. You got it. Last 10 seconds here. And then we're going to take it into a windmill. Five, four, three, two, one. Open the feet nice and wide. Lift that chest up. Five windmills. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Last one on each side. Five. Nice work. We should be nice and warm now. Take it into a walkout to plank and push up. One minute here. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, bend forward. Come on into a high plank. And one, two, three push ups. Walk the hands back in. All the way up. All the way down. One, two, three. Full minute exercise here. You got it. Looking good, guys. Halfway. Keep going. Come on. You can do a push up. Just hold the plank. We'll take it back to those squats and the windmill. You got it. Last 15 seconds here. You're doing great. Two, three, and this is going to be our last one. And we'll hold the plank down for 10. Count. Let's hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice job. Come on and grab that strap for me. We're going to go into a squat with a shoulder press to curtsy lunge. Let me show you what this looks like. We're doing two sets of 45 seconds, one on each side. The band, I'm holding the scarf, shoulder distance apart. Starting position, that strap is in front of my chest and my fist should be just on the outside of my shoulders. I'm gonna squat and press up. Come back, bring that strap here. Take a little curtsy lunge and come and tap the fist to the ground, all right? So it's a squat with a press and a curtsy lunge with a twist, all right? 45 seconds on each leg. Let's go. You got it. Targeting that same leg. Getting deep into some hip mobility here. My runners, my tennis players, this is a really important move to incorporate. Guys, you've got 10 seconds here. And we're going to take it to the other side. And switch sides. Yeah. Exhale when you push that band up and when you twist. Nice. You got it. Getting into the shoulder, getting into that hip, getting into that quadriceps. And if you hold those abdominals in, your core's working. 15 seconds here. 
I'm going to take it into some skaters. You got it. You guys are looking good. So proud of you. Last one. Nice job. Just release that towel down for a bit. Let's go into 30 second skaters. Just skating. Nice with a little leg curl behind, getting into that hamstring. Almost making it slow motion to really control those muscles. Nice work. 10 more seconds here, and we're going to go into alternating side lunges using that, that scarf or strap or towel again. Nice work. Come on and grab the strap. We are one minute here. We're doing what I like to call a messy lunge. The feet are super wide. The toes are pointing forward. The strap is held really wide, but close to the chest. One straight line, elbows to shoulders. Strap in front of chest. It's down on one leg up and on the other. Try and make it a smooth motion. Really lifting and going from one leg, shifting that body weight one leg to the other. Using the strap, don't push the strap forward, keep that strap held here. It's gonna force you to keep the chest lifted. Activating the posterior muscles of your upper back. Nice. Squeeze that belly button in. We don't need to see the guts spilling out today. We don't need that, because we're super strong. You got it. Last 20 seconds here. Nice. On the back of this, we're gonna go into 30 seconds of jump rope. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Nice job. Keep holding on to that strap or that towel. Nice here at the bottom. So keeping those arms engaged. There we go. Keep pulling on that towel, pull that scarf, pull that strap. 10 more seconds here. We're going to take it into a slight little balance move. Three, two, one. Nice work. Next up, you're going to be, let me show you. You can hold on to the band, the scarf. You're going to go into a reverse lunge, but without the foot touching the ground. So it's just hovering above and then a hop. Okay, so I'm down, up. Let me show you from the front. It's down, up. We're just doing 10 on each side, working on balance, okay? Proprioception of the foot and the ankle here. Very important for running. So come on down and up. Down, two, and three, four, five, six, woo, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Switch sides. Let's go. One, and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, woo -hoo, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Come on and meet me down on the mat. You're going to put that little towel on the side just for now. Here's what we're doing next two exercises. 10 reps each. First exercise, we're going to place our hands behind us. Fingers are pointing forward. Feet are hip width apart. Lift those glutes off the ground, come into a tabletop. Lower yourself down. Tricep dips. There we go. 10, 9. Look up ahead of you. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, come on and lay down. Lift those glutes off the ground. Dig into the, the floor with the heels. Walk out. One, 
two, hamstring activation to glutes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come on, sit back up. Back for ten dips. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down. Ten counts of those little bridge walkouts. One, two, come on, you got it, I know, I know. Three, and four. Squeeze those glutes up, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Release it down, come on, sit back up. Similar position as the tricep dips, except here's what we're doing now. You're gonna be here, lift yourself up, and we're gonna alternate tapping opposite hand to opposite foot. Oh yeah. You got it. Working on abs, arms, shoulders. Good. Come on, three more on each side. And two, last one, nice work. All right, let's grab that towel again. You're gonna sit in the floor, bring the feet in front of you, hip width apart, plant the heels into the floor. Grab the towel or strap or scarf at its longest. We're gonna do some lat pull downs, okay? So grab it nice and wide, as wide as you would. You want to make sure that you have like a nice 90 degree angle in the elbow or even a little wider. Okay, starting position is right here in front of the chest, okay? Bra strap for ladies and nipple line for men, okay? You're leaning back, getting those core and abdominals engaged. You're gonna come up and I want you to really pull down, up and pull from the elbows. There we go, we do one set of 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Exhale every time you pull down. 10, you got it. Nine, bring the skull back to the chest, not down to the hips. Six and five and four and three and two and one. Nice work, fantastic. All right, we're gonna keep holding on to that strap, move on to a few abdominals, and we'll finish off with a little bit more glute and hamstring work, okay? So come on ahead and lie down and extend the legs out. Extend the arms out behind you. As you lift one leg up, you're gonna to come towards that leg 10 times with the strap, bringing the, the towel towards the shin. There we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, switch legs and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Bring both legs up above you. Sorry, one leg stays down, one leg is up above you. Arms are behind you. As you bring that leg down, you come up and down. Like a smooth balancing. 10 times. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one, switch sides, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, release down, bring both feet, legs up, lower the legs a little bit so you feel your lower abdominals engaged isometrically, so lower them down, right, bring that strap towards, it should be level with the knees, and you're going to glide it up and down very quickly for 10 counts without lowering the shoulders or shoulder blades on the mat. So let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice job. Release down and bring those feet all the way up. Flex the feet and come on and push the ceiling and push it up. Don't use momentum. Squeeze the glutes and legs together. Use your lower abdominals. <sighs> Pelvic floor muscles. There we go. <sighs> you got it. Five more. And four. And three. And two. And one. Nice work. Come on and sit all the way up. We have one more abdominal exercise to do. And then we move on to um some clamshells and some more fun stuff let's keep it a surprise okay we're doing a row with a twist okay so we're holding the towel up it's in front my knees are with me let me show you i'm going to extend twist to the side back to center in row twist to the other side okay we're going to do two sets of 30 seconds here yeah Let's go, row, twist. Nice job. Exhale every time you twist. Getting into the obliques and the abdominals. Lift those feet off the ground. You've got it, five more seconds here. Nice job. Just going to come and lay down, extend the arms out behind, stretch the legs out in front, squeeze the glutes, lift the glutes off the ground. Nice little stretch here. And let's resume for our second set of 30 seconds. Come on back up. We're not done yet. I still got five minutes at least. Let's go row and twist. Nice work. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Let's go into those little clamshells with a side plank. Come on and lay on your side. Edge of the mat is aligned. Legs are bent at a 90 degree angle. Hips are aligned with the, the edge of the mat and the knees. Elbow is also one straight line all the way down to the knees. Elbows underneath the shoulder. Come on and lift from, lift those, the rib cage up. So squeeze that rib cage then squeeze into that waist, lift those glutes off the ground and open close with that top knee. We do 20 on each side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release down. Come on and switch sides. Oh yeah. Let's come here. Same thing, make sure you're all aligned. 
Scoop that rib cage up, squeeze that waist, lift the hips off the ground, and let's come in clamshell. One, two, squeeze that lower glute. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice job, release down. Grab that towel one more time. Last little bonus exercise for the abs. Now hold that strap up above the head. Legs are out in front of you. Lift them off the ground. Flutter kicks, holding and pulling that towel as wide as you can. Shoulder activation here, 30 seconds. Squeeze those abdominals. You got it, lift the chest up, don't sink back. Nice and tall, beautiful. Come on, stay with me, 15 seconds here. You can do it. Breathe, exhale. Come on, come on. We're in this together, stronger together. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, come on and flip over onto your belly. We're going to go back into a little bit of hamstring and glute activation. What I want you to do here, push your pelvis into the ground, squeeze those glutes together, bend one leg and nice degree angle, look at my foot, it's super flexed. Here, I'm going to bring my, stack my hands on top of each other and put my forehead on the back of my hands. So I'm protecting my spine, okay? I'm here, I'm going to press the sole of my foot towards the ceiling. And I want to make sure that that pelvis is always in contact. So really, I'm working here on, on the focus is on hamstring and glutes, all right? We're going to do 15 on each side and then 10 with both legs together. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Switch sides. Bend that leg, flex that foot, squeeze that glute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five, four, three, two, one, nice job, release. Bring both feet together, knees together. Squeeze those glutes, first thing you do, squeeze the glutes, push the pelvis into the ground. Flex those feet, subtle lift, subtle. You won't be able to lift that high, but try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, release down. Press the palms into the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Press into the floor. Lift your chest up. Upward dog. Tuck the feet in. Come up into a high plank. Ten shoulder taps here. Let's go. One. And two. And three. Squeeze those glutes. Tuck that pelvis under. You don't want to be moving those hips. Widen the feet if you feel that you're swiveling around too much. Come on, last three on each side. And two. Last one. Nice job. Push back into a downward dog position. Inhale, exhale. Bring your left foot outside of your left hand. Drop your right knee towards the ground. Open your right arm towards the ceiling, reach for the sky. Twist behind you, look behind you. Bring that hand back on the inside of the foot, tuck the back toe in. Send that left leg back, back into downward dog. Come on and bring that right foot on the outside of that right hand. Drop the left knee down on the ground, untuck the foot. Open the right hand towards the ceiling, open the arm, twist. Round, look behind you. Bring on twist, bring that arm back on the inside of the foot. Push back into that downward dog. 
walk the hands and feet towards each other. Let go of the head here, grab the back of the hairline, help yourself to come lower. Look in between your legs at the wall that's behind or whatever is behind you. Look there, see if you can peek further forward and look up to the ceiling from between your legs. There we go, really decompressing that spine, getting deep stretch into the posterior muscles of the leg. Great job, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, drop the belly onto the thigh, drop the arms down, shake a nice little yes and no with the head. Start unrolling just a little bit so that the hands are no longer on the ground and you can do the rag doll with the arms, neck and shoulders. As you do this, feel gravity pulling the skin away from your skull, from your face. Yes, achieving full relaxation. This is a natural anti-aging. It's like a facelift without spending money. Whoa, better than Botox. Coach said B workout. Should be on your tagline. Tuck your pelvis under, tuck the glutes in. Use your, your abs to unroll yourself up. Vertebra by vertebra, neck, I mean shoulders, neck, chin, reach to the sky, up and above you, reach up, pull that energy back down, one hand on chest, one hand on belly, close your eyes here, inhale, exhale, check in with your mind, check in with your body, how are you feeling, did you get what you wanted out of those 30 minutes together? Great work, congratulations. Thank you so much for joining me today. You crushed it. This was 30 minutes of full body runner strength workout. Have a wonderful rest of your day.